Danny, how long have you been based in Peru right now? Well, now it's almost a uh, half year. And uh, as you said, Aaron, we are also working with, uh, with insects to try to discover new species. Uh, so far, we have discovered uh, five new species of just a tiny group of uh, tiger moths. They are awesome uh, moths that can avoid predation from bats, for example, by jamming out their echolocation sonar. Uh, other animal, other insects have leaf hopper, tree hoppers, scorpion wasps. Mm -hmm. So we are having a lot of fun and we are discovering awesome things. Yeah. Here, Isn't that cool? Like we're out here doing this work, flying drones, setting up camera traps, finding new species. That's what motivates me to be a field biologist out here. So this is actually my 10th trip to Peru. Um, uh, in addition to being a National Geographic grantee, I'm starting a PhD program at UC Berkeley. So uh, it's really exciting to kind of implement this new technology as we work out here in the Amazon rainforest. And I think it needs all the help it can get, right? This is a race against time because there are serious threats to the Amazon rainforest. There, we see gold mining, we see resource extraction. So even though we're looking at, you know, pristine green rainforest, it is under threat. So that's part of the, uh, I would say, motivation for us to try and continue this kind of work to study the plants, study the insects, study the elusive mammals. Yeah, exactly. This yeah. Is, uh, well, I think that uh, we are all in this. In this. this is uh, the land of the earth, so we better cons conserve it if, if, if we want, you want this huge uh, hotspot of biodiversity to, right. to be preserved. We need, we need to know more about it in order to conserve it. Exactly. <clears throat> Danny is flying the drone behind me. He's a master at this thing. He's only crashed it a couple times. It still works. So that's part of the problem that comes with tech, you know. Especially out here, you know, it rains. It's difficult conditions. So it can be hard on technology. You need robust stuff like camera traps that are protected. If you look just above us right now, that's the drone right there. We're going to make it land. Yeah. So Danny is going to land the drone. Behind me is the canopy. Check it out, we're about 100 feet up right now in just pristine rainforest. I love this view, it's so pretty. So you can see that the drone is about to land right now. There's the drone, and Danny has got it. Touchdown. That's it, man. That's cool, right? <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. So Danny's got the drone right here. He was just flying this guy over the canopy. And this is, again, not just a toy, but to study the Amazon rainforest canopy. So he's looking at how the trees are flowering, where they're fruiting. We can even identify what species of tree, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can get to the level of species. And well, you can see that this is also for kind of uh, botany studies, mm -hmm. but um, a lot of animals, a lot of really Important animals for the rainforest depend heavily on uh, on the fruit season. So, for example, tapirs, spider monkeys, peccaries, they all depend heavily on exactly the moment of fruiting. So it's very important to know uh, the temporary parents of, mm -hmm. of, of blooming and fruiting to, to know more about their, their ecology, the ecology of these um, big uh, ecosystem engineers of the forest, of the rainforest are. Yeah. So, Danny, someone left a question. They said, does it collect data? Um, I think that's a really good question. Is this thing actually collecting data? What's the answer to that? Yeah, of course. Well, we are programming uh, uh, paths uh, through the air. Mm -hmm. So it's it's covering an area of maybe uh, 60 hectares, mm -hmm. just taking pictures every second of the whole canopy. So we can see every single species that is in the area that we are covering with the drone. And then we just... Um, analyze these pictures and we can see exactly the species and the moment of blooming and fruiting of every species in the canopy. Yes. Yeah, so I think that's pretty cool. Like this is actually collecting data that's going to be used for scientific purposes. So I think a lot of people see drone pictures and they're pretty or it's a cool new toy. And it is for a lot of reasons like that, but it can also be applied for scientific purposes. I think that's really cool that we can use this kind of technology to fly over the canopy and collect data. Um, if you're just joining us, we also mentioned that we're setting up camera traps out in the area to find elusive jaguars or pumas. Um, and then we're also doing entomology research to try and discover new species of insects. So this is this sort of trifecta, this Amazonian project. Um, and uh, here it's recently been initiated called Wired Amazon, right? So it's kind of like applying this new technology to field work out here in the jungle. And I think that's so exciting. Other thing that I would like to mention, Aaron, is that this is not just... Uh, uh, pure science by pure science. So yeah. uh, this is linked to a to a tourism um, initiative, and we are showing this to our guests, to the guests of uh, this um, of this tourist company, the mm -hmm. Rainforest Expeditions. 
and uh, they are seeing in live what, what we do and how we do that. They come with us at night to discover new species. They set up the, the tra some camera traps with us and they come here to fly the drone and to see how, how this amazing technology can help science to, to give a step up. Exactly. Yeah. And some people are asking, you know, what's our educational background? Um, what are our jobs? Uh, right now, I am a PhD student at UC Berkeley. I'm also a National Geographic grantee, which is why we're talking to you right now. Um, and my background is in entomology, actually the scientific study of insects. And I also have a background in molecular biology. Um, so I think those are, you know, two things that really help working out here in the Amazon because it's so diverse with a lot of different insects out here. We try to discover new species. We try to discover new relationships because they're one of the most biodiverse groups out here in the rainforest. And then, Danny, what's your background in? Well, I have studied biology as well, and then I specialized in biodiversity and conservation, and also in ecology, and uh, well, now I'm, I'm involved in different things, you know, because ecology means try to understand every part of mm -hmm. the functioning of the forest. So if you want to come here and work as, as we are doing, you know what you have to do. Yeah, I'd say the conditions out here can be tough. You know, it's you can see that this is all jungle. Um, so, like, it can be tough sometimes. It, it can rain a lot. There can be a lot of biting insects. You know, we've dealt with snakes. Um, so it can be dangerous at times, but I think it's worth it. Like, this to me is one of the most beautiful places on the planet. Um, and it's really a privilege to get to do this kind of research out here, try and promote conservation, and then to connect with you guys. Like, how cool is it that this is a live feed right now? We just showed you us fly this drone over the Amazon canopy, I think it's just a fascinating, cool time to be alive and to share this type of research. So if you're into like, you know, science and education and conservation and the rainforest, you should definitely pay a visit out here. I, I love this part of the rainforest. We're in southeastern Peru in Tambopata. It's, it's just a beautiful, beautiful place. So thanks for your question. Some people are asking about, you know, what are the conditions like here with the rainforest um, because there's a lot of deforestation going on. Right now we're in southeastern Peru, and fortunately this is a very, um, it's pretty well protected, this part of the rainforest. Um, but that's not to say it's without problems, because there's a lot of gold mining that goes on in the area, a lot of resource extraction. So we hope that in part by, you know, raising awareness and doing this field ecology research, that we can help promote this area even more and, and keep it protected. So I'd say those are, those are the big things that we wanted to touch on. So if you're just joining us now, it's a little after sunrise. We've talked about some of the research going on here. Danny flew a drone over the canopy, so you can re-record this after we post it and check that out. Um, the purpose of the drone is to fly it over the canopy to see when trees are flowering and what types of trees are flowering, known as phenology. Mm -hmm. The sort of aerobotany that Danny is working on as a field ecologist. Um, we've talked about camera trapping to search for jaguars and other elusive animals. Um, and then we've talked a little bit about the entomology work. So what kind of insects are out here? How do we discover new species? Um, so this all ties in together for the ecology of the rainforest. There's still a lot that we don't know. And that's in part why this work is exciting, because you get the opportunity to make these new discoveries, right? Exactly. Well, you can think that uh, we all we almost know everything about the, the jungle functioning, but no, that's not true at all. And as, as, as Aaron know, uh, as Aaron said, um, the more we know, the better, because we have some, some really dangerous threats as illegal gold mining, as poaching, as logging. And well, we need to give an, a sustainable activity mm -hmm. for getting money, for getting local people involved. That's important. You cannot make biology, you cannot make ecology um, and forget um, and forget the local people that live here because they depend. They depend on this place. So mm -hmm. you need to give them a sustainable activity to make instead of instead of exploiting this this awesome and beautiful place. Yeah, mm -hmm. awesome. So we'll wrap up soon. Thank you for your questions. Um, We'll try to answer more as the day goes on because we have to go catch a boat so we can get back. Um, if you're just joining us, we're above the canopy in the Amazon rainforest. It's beautiful up here. It's sunrise. I love it. Like, this is such a beautiful place. So check out the Peruvian Amazon if you ever get the chance. It is one of the most biodiverse and beautiful places out here. Um, it can be difficult flying drones and, you know, doing this field biology research. But I'd say it's, it's worth it in the end. It's very... Um, motivating work to be out here as a field biologist and trying to make new discoveries and promote conservation for the rainforest. Mm -hmm. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank um, you for joining us and for seeing us. We, we hope that you have enjoyed this and thank you for being there. Yeah, thanks so much. If you want to, you can follow me. My Instagram handle is at NextGenScientist. Danny, where can they find you? Danny Colfeido, 21. 
Awesome. And Instagram also. Yeah, thanks so much, guys. Please post more questions below. Share this if you're into this Amazon research. Uh, we love it. It's This is such a cool time to be alive and doing scientific research like this. So thank you guys very much. Thank you for Ciao. joining us. Here's one final view of the canopy for your viewing pleasure. And until next time, thanks, guys. Ciao.